playing a very, uh, they're hanging in there. You know, they're playing a very uh, sound, uh, and they have fewer turnovers than Canyon. Canyon's turnovers is really what's kept them this game close. All right, BC now. Tyler, Tavelli. Tavelli to Slade, Slade in the corner. Tough pass, Nielsen guarded. She takes a little runner, hits the rim, no good. Green with the rebound for Canyons. Canyons now moves the ball. O'Brien handling it. That is number 22, Tamar Smith with the ball, and another turnover for Canyons. That has been our theme tonight, another turnover. Well, they're sitting there probably in the 25 turnover range at this point, and you know, just, and the, now there's playing a different player out there. Number 15 is now in for Canyons. Um, Kylie probably be playing, uh, the, it's not normally the point guard, but. Uh, a little runner there for Alvera. Cavaldi with the rebound. Man, she wanted to reach that on that one. Green had the rebound. Back to Friedel, to Aaron, or Sarah Ward, and they're back in the lead here. That was a nice execution, nice passing by Canyons there. Ward was wide open inside. So there's been times when Candace has really executed very well. Nielsen, she's gonna, she's gonna just attack. She has this move where she kind of carries the ball, you know, and like wants to throw it up. I think Nielsen got smacked in the face. She's kind of holding her nose. She had just she had two free throws. She hits them both, they can tie the game up again. 8.55 to go in the game. And gets the roll. A little bit of a loose rim there, it kind yeah. of rattled around. When you play basketball, you like those loose rims. It gives you a little yeah. bit more life on it. Absolutely. Nice shot there, and she converts to tie it up. So Nielsen with the two free throws, 48 all here, 8.53 to go. Fourth quarter here from Bakersfield College. Green down low, hook shot, no good. Friedel tries to get the rebound and goes out of bounds. Friedel thought she got mugged yeah. there on that rebound. I kind of think she might have. She's on the ground and, uh, you know, Tyler head, was the one head who coach was fighting her with it. Wants to agree with them. All right, the ball in the hands of Alvera Nielsen. She'll take baseline. Hand check before the basket. Yep. That was a, it's a shame for Bears because Nielsen Took that thing right in, yeah. an easy layup. That's the fourth personal foul on, on uh, Kylie. Nielsen. You know, Candace has a hard time defending uh, you know, Nielsen's right. uh, driving ability. Nielsen out of liberty. He wants the ball. Nothing going there. Well defended to Veldi. And they're going to call. Uh, shot clock? No, it's a. Uh, Put there was a shot clock question. There was uh, something that didn't start. It didn't start, so I put tw seven seconds back. Take seven seconds off the shot clock. Look at this ball right by her. No good. Rebound. Gets her own rebound. There's a charge. Oh. Nielsen hit a five-foot follow-up, but she ran over uh, Kylie, and, that would, uh, and I think that's the right call. Yeah. I don't think Colin agrees, but uh, Kylie was there, and uh, I think Nielsen put her shoulder down and just kind of ran her over. Canyon's coach still upset about the shot clock issue that happened here a moment, moment ago. And that could be on. It's probably going to be on Slade, but they might call on Tavelde. I think it might be Tavelde. Also, she's yeah. looking at Tavelde. I think that's who is going to be yeah. called. That would be her fourth if that's who it is. It is considered a two-shot foul. No, they're not yeah. calling. They are yeah, calling on Slade. They are calling on Slade. Yeah, that makes more sense to me. She was definitely reaching there. Tamara Smith now at the line. And she gets the bounce on that one. 49-48 here. Yeah. 
Canyon's coach is still working the refs. That's what you do when you're a coach. <laughs> Miss that free throw, one point game. Canyon's up one. All right. Oh. Man, what a shot by, that was a Olvera. much needed shot by Alvera. Puts bigger to the head. Oh, what a shot by number three. Tamara Smith just hit a Smith three. Smith with a great shot with a fender in her face. So Biggerson had the lead for about five seconds. Green forces the turnover. They've got numbers. Green, oh, she can't handle it. Little jumper, no good. Friedel, and she's gonna get fouled by Slade. Green had an easy layup there and fumbled the ball yep. going up and that then she had to take a short jump shot instead. Uh, Bakersfield, Paula Dahl is calling timeout for time the Renegades. Out. Be a full one minute timeout. 7 8 remaining in the game. Well, Jeff, uh, we got uh, we got some time left here in this game. What do you think is going to happen here as we uh, we wind it down? Well, you know, it's so hard to it's so hard to predict when it's anybody's game. It's a two point game, and uh, Canyons has a two point lead. Has two free throws coming. Uh, Bridal, I believe, is the one shooting him coming yep. out of the break. And she's really, uh, you know, for someone averaging 19 points a game, she just has really had a hard time uh, getting in track. She did hit the two free throws, though, uh, just a few moments ago. That was, I think, her first point since the first quarter. So, uh, um, but that shot, that three-point shot, as you noted from Tamara Smith a moment ago, was a big-time shot. Uh, probably something Canyon's really been looking for. Is to maybe hope that would give them a little bit of momentum. And I think that's a good timeout for, for uh, Bakersfield College there, you know. The, it's only a two-point game, you know. Uh, they just hit a big three. They got two free throws coming, and so I think maybe Paula might have sensed that uh, this may be a good time to give her yeah. team a little bit of a breather and um, and maybe make sure they they're all together defensively. So Friday will go to the line here with 7:08 to go in the game. Looking over to Sandy Taylor because I, I wanted to bring us some nachos. Or at least you a steak sandwich. So Friedel is shooting two on the foul against Slade, and she misses the first of two. Carl Bryan calling her Friedel, like Frito. <laughs> no. I like Friedel, but it could be Friedel. Makes the second one. So 53-50. Ball in the hands of Alvera. Alvera over to Tyler. Tyler looking over and turns it over. Try to get the ball in to, to Veldi. And now they turn the ball back over. And Tyler gets the layup. Well, I tell you what, Mark, uh, number 22, uh, Smith got back in a hurry. I didn't think that Tyler's going to convert that, but she did. Inside the green. Tavelde's got to watch out here. Great defense, considering the, the foul situation, but Green scores anyway. Yeah, green made a very nice play there. If you, uh, you know, she, she knew the situation, took her time. Oh, what a run by Slade. She can't convert it. Got right around Friedel and had the baseline open. And nice play there by Duggan. So some great defense here, Jeff. Yeah, Green made a very, very nice play down the other end. It just uh, came up with the ball, just yep. took that ball right away from uh, the Bears player there just a moment ago. And again, it closing in on about six minutes to go in this game. Still a three-point game. Well, BC has been very, very difficult uh, for Canyons here. Again, defensively, they're packing in, and nice movement there. Slade comes uh, with the turnover, and now here comes Tyler. She's going to drive, not going to get it to fall. Tavelde saves it. Nope, going to call it out of bounds. Yeah, her foot was on the line when she made a. Yeah. Kennedy Nielsen coming back in the game. Well, Nielsen for Duggins. Key and Marina Rojas, who's got four fouls for Canyons, coming back in the game. 
Let's see how long it takes if she can hold on. Uh, again, that's a big, that's a big time player for that's her starting point guard. If yep. you foul her out, that that could be a big reason why this offense is scuffling yep. a little bit when your starting point guard's out with foul trouble. Kai's got the ball, cross court pass, and Another that's trouble. Pass. And Alvera gets it, and Rojas is going to have to like give it up, and there it is. So one point game, 55-54, BC continuing to battle. They need to get another turnover here, which is entirely possible considering how poor Canyons has played. Cross court pass, no good. Ward with the rebound on the miss from Rojas and she draws the foul and that's against Tavelde. That's Tavelde's fourth foul here at 5.05 to go. So 55-54, 5.05 to go here in the fourth quarter of this California Community College basketball game between the Bakersfield College Renegades and the College of the Canyon Cougars. Ward going to the line, freshman of the Canyon High School. Misses the first one. 5.05 remaining. Every possession is so crucial in a one-point game. And misses both of them, the rebound to Kennedy Nielsen. Nielsen now running through the defense. Over to Tavelde, and Friedel will deflect it. Green's coming back in. She was out for the last couple minutes. They've got her on Tavelde. And Nielsen having trouble getting the ball in bounds. She had the ball now, drives baseline, and ball was blocked. Yeah, interesting. So, so Kennedy we'll Nielsen uh, took a shot, but the ball was blocked by Canyons off the back of the backboard. So Bears of College retains possession. Shot clock at 18, right. 4.53 remaining. Ward, I guess, got a piece of that. Back to Oliveira on the inbounds pass from Nielsen. Nielsen on the left hand side. Slade working over, ball now and has a tie. Tyler can take a three-pointer, hits the rim, bounces high into the hands of Friedel, and Canyon's now on the attack. Rojas, that is number 12, Vicky Martinez. Haven't called her name, I don't think, tonight. Ward, down low, guarded by Slade. Slade's played a very good basketball game here. She's a freshman out of North. Slade, tough defensively. Ward to Green. Green double teamed, takes a shot. That was a pretty shot, Jeff. 17 footer, uh, even with the free throw line, by your big girl, that's, yeah. a big, that's a big time shot. And Nielsen drives and draws the foul against Ward. So Nielsen now, again, we're starting to get in the foul situation again because Bakersfield College has 14 fouls now, which means everything's two free throws the rest of the way for yep. Canyons. That's foul number three on, the, uh, on Canyons. So uh, they still have one more foul to give. That becomes crucial in a close game Absolutely. down the stretch. Nielsen with the free throw, makes the first one. As you pointed out, she's a foot, good foot at least behind that free throw line yep. when she shoots that. She'll never be called for a violation no. of uh, stepping on the line, that's for sure. I mean, I, you wonder like how that developed. Is that maybe because you know she had to hop you know, initially? Hard to say. Misses that, Green with the rebound. Ooh, Tabelli was close to getting a foul there on the rebound. Rojas, Martinez with the three point attempt. And she gets it and could have been a foul there too. Man, that's a dagger at 352. That's a five point lead for Canyon. Yeah. That's the biggest lead for either team in quite a while. Slade driving, turns the ball over, gets the ball back. It's off of Slade's foot. Yeah, and Alvera and diving. Good effort and, there by Alvera. Yeah. But Green is hurt. Might be more, ex oh, no, she is grabbing. Uh, grabbing her hands, so we'll call a timeout. Yeah, it's not a wrist or a leg. Uh, you always wonder a little bit about that. 60 to 55 here, 341 to go in this game. Bakersfield College called that timeout. Okay, now here's the other rule that becomes interesting here. Inside yeah. the last two minutes on a, um, uh, you, 
on inbounds. Uh, How many rules do they change on this they deal? Quite, but the good one here, that's like NBA style. Yeah. You can inbound the ball on your side of the court on a, after a timeout inside the last two minutes. In other words, you can you can get that extra 30, 40 feet up the floor in the last two minutes. This is only in the women's game, not the men's game. That's another rule that's a little bit of a unique one. That becomes another strategic thing. And uh, there doesn't a, right now uh, there's only three team fouls on Canyons. They have a foul to give, but if you have fouls to give, that turns into a little bit of a strategy thing as well. But um, Bakersfield College has 14 fouls, so anything from here on in for uh, will be two shots for Canyons. Um, I'm, I'm pretty confident that uh, Canyons will be called for at least one foul here shortly. That seems to be the way this game's going, so that'll uh, take away that. All right, back out of here. Rojas with the ball, over to Ward. Inside to Green, bounces. Not sure she needed to do that. Gets her own miss, and she will get the foul. And will that be on Tavelde? Well, on Slade. How's that on Slade? She wasn't even near there. That's squirrely. Boy, I tell you, Green had a, she could have just laid that ball in, and she yeah. made that a little bit more difficult Why'd than she, she needed to. Why'd she bounce that? But she makes the first you know, A lot of times two. players, a lot of times the inside players will do that. You'll, you'll really see that a lot. Uh, they, they, for any reason, I think it, they, they bounce that ball, and it kind of settles them down, and it gives them a little more timing, but it also gives the defense a chance to adjust. Makes both free throws. Seven-point lead now. 7-0 run. Remember, it was 55-55 yeah. earlier. Right. 324 to go, counting. Foul was on Ward. That's their fourth team foul. That came foul. all the way across the court. So he, she grabbed the jersey. Yeah. So that uh, Bakersfield now will every every foul, both teams from here on in is all free throws. Nielsen driving baseline, or looking to drive baseline. She's driven by Ward. Tyler and a great Green. play by Green. What a great play by Green has been the best player on the floor tonight. What a Oh, and she missed the free uh, the layup, Jeff. She's been the best player on the floor tonight, you know. And that's I mean, the, she took that with authority and ran down the the, the court there. I think we already had our, our scorebooks. That yeah, I was like, layup. Ding, hit it. All right. Ward can't get it in. That should have been a five second call. Close. Rojas Again, now with the ball. You have plenty of time now with a seven point lead. They, you know, Kansas can take their time here. They... Friedel, and she's going to get it on Slade. Boy, she's got to be getting closer. Slade's got to have four fouls. That fouls are out. That's her fifth. So Baker still huge. loses. That, that's, a, that's a big time foul. She's been playing very well defensively yeah. tonight. It's a huge loss for, for BC losing. Veronica Slade, five foot 10 guard out of North High. So Friedel will go to the line. Replacing Slade is Duggins. Mick makes the first one, extending the lead to eight points. And now it's starting to, the Renegades are starting to run out of time here. They're gonna need to get some stops on defense or yep. turnovers. And they're gonna need to convert now. They're down nine with 2.49 to go. They played very, very hard and aggressive and they were in this ball game. And now they let it get away from them a little bit. That's Tavelde, I believe. Yep. Let's see if that is, and I think that'll be her fifth. Yep, called on Duggins. Yeah. That should be a two-shot foul. Should be two shots. They're going to get a loose ball foul. Interesting. I would have called. I would have called that two free throws. The referee down on the other end is calling for two free throws, and that's what they're calling. That's Green had possession. That should be a two-shot foul. Yep. Oh, Friedel, I'm sorry, not Green. It's Friedel's one who'll have the two free throws. Just hit two a moment ago. So Friedel will get the shots here. 
And can give him a 10 point lead here if she can make it. Nope, misses that one. Duggan's coming out. Esna's coming in, or Esno's coming in for her. And let's see if Friedel can convert. In and out and again. Miss both, but Green but with the rebound. The rebound. They should put it up and score. And she will score. Canyons calls timeout. 2.31 to go. Bigger still now trails the 11. I believe that's an 11 0 run for Canyons yep. uh, from about the last, about the 4.30 mark over the last two minutes. It's, uh, Canyons has kind of broke, broken this game open. Well, I think what we've seen here is that BC just hasn't, just kind of run out of gas defensively and offensively. And Canyons has been able to convert free throws. That's uh, they've uh, that's that's been a big thing here down the la the last couple of minutes as well. I'm guessing that BC or CSUB lost tonight to uh, University of Missouri Kansas City. Nope, nope. Um, they are losing 44 to 24. Bakersfield is losing. 440, uh, 442 left to go. CSUB is eight from 34 from the uh, the uh, floor tonight. You're not going to win any games when you're going. Yeah. If you're 24 points in the middle of the fourth quarter, you're not going to. Uh, you could be playing junior high ball, and you're not going to yeah. win very many games there. Right. All right. PC will get the ball back. 2.31 to go here, 66.55. Thanks for joining us here on Bakersfield.com. Hope you're having a great day. Cloudy outside, about 55 degrees up here uh, at Bakersfield College. And a turnover for the Renegades. Canyon's on the run. Friedel gets it. 68.55, Jeff, 13-0 run. Alvera trying to get something to go in there. She's got to stop her dribble. Over to Esnaz. Esnaz misses the three-pointer. You're going to look at the score of this game. Beggars is going to probably wind up losing by about 15. It was a way closer game yeah. than that. Martinez with a three-pointer and another one in someone's face. I think she must fall down every time she takes a yeah. shot. Well, Tyler was there. And wow. Green will be called for the foul. She can't believe it. Yep. Actually, no, they I call see. it on Ward. So 16-0 run here since the 430 mark. See if Nielsen can stop the run here. And Nielsen makes the first free throw. 71-56 now. The Bakers of College men are kind of filtering out on the floor now, getting ready to do their warm-ups. Going to be a little bit later than 5 o'clock start for the men's game. Makes both free throws. Why not take another one? She's been hitting them all night. Misses it. Goes over and goes up on the top of the rim, and that'll go back to BC, or top of the backboard. Number 24 is in the game. That is Alexis Thurman, a freshman out of Miramonte. She's got the ball over to Oliveira. Oliveira from Garces. Shot by Esnaz, no good. Rojas now with the break for Canyons. What a pass. Very nice, very nice give and go. And Canyons has now extended their lead to 16 points, Jeff. Runner, no good. Rojas at the lane. Behind the back dribble. Passes over to Friedel, and Friedel gets it. Now they're pouring it on. 75-57. Tyler, almost like get it out of her hands. Esnaz, Esnaz. Oh, got hit in the face there, got away with the foul. To Tyler. And the shot is good for Esnaz. Esnaz. So Esnaz gets a bucket. 30 seconds to go. Ward from the corner, no good. 
And the rebound from Nielsen, who will probably fix to Tyler. Tyler with a shot, and that's good. 75-61, 14 points. So the question is, Coach, Coach Dahl, you had some moments of brightness followed by a very difficult fourth quarter. And BC now ready to concede this game. 10 seconds and counting, five seconds now. Three, two, one, no good. And that is the game. So there you are, that is the end of the ball game here. Jeff, final thoughts? Well, you know, I think that, um, you know, Bakersfield played for about three and a half quarters, was very competitive, and then, you know, I think you're right. I think that there's probably a little bit of fatigue kicked in, and then, you know, Canyons, which had been missing its shots all night long, suddenly hit about three or four in a row, and that's really what it all it took was that to really kind of get a little separation. Right. And once they got the separation, they just poured it, poured it on after that. Bakersfield College, though, was in this ball game. Uh, look at the final score, 77-61. Looks like kind of a kind of a blowout, and with you know four and a half minutes to go, it's a 55-55 game. So um, the really it was an 18 to two run is what really kind of doomed the Renegades. Tonight. Absolutely. All right. Well, everybody, we'll take a quick break. We'll be right back with more here on Bakersfield College on Bakersfield.com. This is Bakersfield College basketball, the Canyon Cougars, and uh, the Bakersfield College Renegades coming up next here on Bakersfield.com. <laughs> 